At some point, when working with Terraform, you likely need to handle sensitive data like API keys or database credentials. Here is an example of Terraform code used to create a managed database on AWS. In this case, you must provide username and a password. The challenge is to securely handle these credentials and prevent them from being accidentally exposed in the Git repository or Terraform state. In this video, we'll explore a range of solutions starting with basic approaches like using environment variables, moving to encrypting secrets with KMS, PGP and SOAP and finally going full cloud native and using cloud-based services such as AWS and GCP secret managers. First and foremost, don't save sensitive data such as database login credentials in plain text in your Terraform code. This is a really bad idea even if you're using a private Git repository. Anyone who can access the version control system can also get the secret. Every tool with access to Git like Jenkins, CircleCI and GitLab stores a copy of the secret. They all clone the repo before building your code. Also, by storing secrets in plain text in your Terraform code, you risk letting any program on your laptop access this sensitive data. So I highly suggest always saving secrets in encrypted form for all situations, not just when using Terraform. In the following section, we'll talk about multiple ways to protect your secrets using encryption. But regardless of the method you choose for encrypting secrets, there is still one spot where they'll be in the plain text the Terraform state. Each time you use Terraform to provision your infrastructure, it saves a lot of information about it, including all the parameters you provided in the state file. By default, Terraform creates a file named terraform.tfstate in the same folder where you run Terraform apply. So even if you use one of the methods we'll discuss later to securely provide your secrets, like database login credentials, these secrets will still appear in plain text in the Terraform state file. This problem has been known for over 9 years and there is no clear strategy yet for a solid fix. There are temporary fixes available that can remove secrets from your state files, but they are fragile and may not work with every new Terraform update, so I don't suggest using them. For now, regardless of which method you choose from the ones we'll discuss to handle secrets, you should also store Terraform state in a backend that supports encryption. Don't save your state in a local Terraform state file. Terraform can use different storage buckets like S3, JS and Azure Blob Storage. Many of these options allow encryption, so your state files will always be encrypted both during transfer with TLS and when stored instead of being in plain text. And the second, strictly control who can access your Terraform backend. As Terraform state files can hold secrets, it's important to closely manage who can access the storage backend for these files. For instance, if you use S3 as your backend, set up IAM policy that allows only a few trusted developers to access the production S3 bucket. Now, let's dive into the different methods you can use to handle secrets with Terraform. This first method keeps plain text secrets out of your code by taking advantage of Terraform's native support for reading environment variables. Let's go through the example. First, we need to create a couple of variables. Let's name the first one username. It will represent the username for the master user and its type should be a string. Additionally, Terraform 0.14 introduced the option to mark variables as sensitive. This feature keeps sensitive information out of your logs, especially during plan or apply actions. The second variable is for the password. Now let's replace the hardcoded values in the RDS resource with the variables we created. 
and replace the hardcoded password with the password variable. You can now provide a value for each variable such as foo by setting environment variable named tf var foo. For example, here is how you can set username and a password via environment on Linux, Unix or Mac and run Terraform Apply to deploy the database. When you run Terraform Apply, Terraform will parse the environment variables and use their values in the Terraform code. In a bash terminal, if you set his control environment variable correctly, commands that start with a space won't be saved in the bash history. Use this when setting environment variables containing sensitive data to prevent those secrets from being stored on the disk. For instance, if you run history command in your terminal, you'll notice that all the credentials including username and password are saved and accessible to anyone who can view your history file. To avoid this, simply add an extra space at the beginning of your command, which prevents it from being saved in the history. If you run history again, you'll see that the Terraform apply is the last command recorded in the log. This method helps you prevent storing sensitive information as plain text in your code. However, it doesn't address the issue of securely storing and managing those secrets. While I don't want to leave you without guidance, if you choose to use environment variables, the most popular approach for storing and managing secrets is to use a password manager. You can use one password, a SaaS tool that provides a desktop and mobile apps for all platforms and cloud syncing so you can access your secrets on all devices and collaborate with your team. Another option is LastPass, which is similar to 1Password. Both have command line interface CLI tools that can be used to set environment variables from the terminal. To show you how you can use these tools, let's take Pass open source tool that follows Unix philosophy. It's a CLI tool with input and output via text streams, standard in and standard out and it stores everything as files internally. Each secret in its own PGP encrypted file, so you can check these encrypted files into a version control system for team collaboration. Let's walk through the example using PASS. First, you need to install it using the appropriate method such as brew install pass on Mac. Now, if you haven't done so yet, you need to generate a PGP key, enter your real name and email. Then enter a passphrase twice to secure your key. This process will generate a key for you. You can also view all your available keys using gpg list keys command. Before using the pass tool, you need to initialize it with the key you just generated. This is one time setup. To encrypt a secret using pass, use the command pass insert followed by the name of the secret. For example, db username. Then enter the value twice. In this example, we'll use root as the username. Next, we'll set a password for the database. For this example, we'll use devops123. To get the value for the secret, use pass followed by the variable name. Enter your passphrase and the secret will be displayed in the plain text. Instead of hardcoding the root username as environment variable, we can dynamically use the shell to retrieve the password. If you use LastPass, you would use LPass tool instead. To get the password, we can use the same flow as before. If we attempt to run Terraform now, there should be no changes since we used the same values for the username and password. Here are some advantages of this technique. Keep plain text secrets out of your code and version control system. Easy solution to get started with. Integrates with most other secret management solutions. For example, if your company already has a way to manage secrets, you can typically find a way to make it work with environment variables. And finally, test friendly 
as you can easily set the environment variables to mock values. And now the drawbacks to this technique. Not everything is defined in the Terraform code itself. This makes understanding and maintaining the code harder. Everyone using your code has to know to take extra steps to either manually set these environment variables or run wrapper script. No guarantees around security. Since all the secrets management happens outside of Terraform, the code doesn't enforce any security properties and it's possible someone is still managing the secrets in an insecure way, such as storing them in plain text. The second method relies on encrypting secrets storing the cipher text in a file and checking that file into version control. Here is an example of using a key managed by AWS KMS to secure secret data. First of all, let's copy the part 1 and rename it to part 3. Then create a secret file with your database credentials. This file should not be checked into the version control. I'll use the same username and a password. Next, we need to create AWS KMS key that can be used to encrypt our database credentials file. Let's use symmetric type and keep usage as encrypt and decrypt. Let's call it my key. Select the user that's going to be able to use this key and make sure that you use the same user to run Terraform. Now we have created the KMS key. Next, change directory and encrypt the file with AWS KMS command. Make sure that you have CLI installed and default AWS profile. Now we need to replace the key ID to the one we just created. Go back to AWS console and copy the key ID. This command will use the key to encrypt the secret and store it in dbcrats.yaml.encrypted file. This file is secure enough even to be added to the public git repository. To decrypt the secrets from this file in your Terraform code, you can use the AWS KMS secrets data source. For GCP KMS or Azure Key Vault, you would instead use Google KMS secret or Azure Key Vault secret data sources. Let's go ahead and update the RDS resource. The code above will read dbcrats.yaml.encrypted from the disk and assuming you have permissions to access the corresponding key in KMS, decrypt the content to get back the original YAML. You can parse the YAML as follows. And now you can read the username and password from the YAML and pass them to the AWS DB instance resource. Also replace the password. When you run Terraform apply, Terraform will fetch the KMS key, decrypt the file and use those credentials to create your RDS. SOAPS is an open source tool designed to make it easier to edit and work with files that encrypted with AWS KMS, GCP KMS, Azure Key Vault or PGP. Let's go ahead and create part 4 folder. Now I assume you already installed SOAPS CLI on your workstation. To create a secret, we can use SOPS and provide the IRN of the KMS key we created earlier. Let's copy it from AWS console and use it here to create dbcrats.yaml file. Let's remove the boilerplate and paste the same username and a password. After you save that file, you can open it in the text editor. This file also does not contain sensitive data and can be safely stored in Git. Next, create a Terraground config file. First, we'll use part 2 as a module. Now, you can use SOPS decrypt file function built into Terraground to decrypt that file and YAML decode to parse it as YAML. Next, you can pass username and a password as inputs to your Terraform code. That's all, but keep in mind that you need to use Terraground wrapper instead to initialize and apply your Terraform code. The final method involves keeping your secrets in a dedicated secret store. This is a database that is designed specifically for securely storing sensitive data and tightly controlling access 
access to it. To get started, using AdBS Secrets Manager, first sign in to AdBS Console and create a new secret. Choose the other secret type and enter the database login credentials in JSON format. Let's call it dbcreds v2. This name will be used in Charform code. Then click Next and create the secret. In Visual Studio Code, copy part 1 one more time and change it name to part 5. Using Secrets Manager in Terraform is quite simple. All you have to do is create a data source object to obtain the secrets value. Then, since we stored secret in JSON format, we can use JSON decode built-in function to parse that object in the local variable. Now you can use the secrets in the rest of your Terraform code. For instance, you can replace a username and a password with local variables. That's everything you need to connect with AdBS Secrets Manager. When you run apply command, Terraform will get the secrets and use them in the code. To sum up, don't keep secrets in plain text. Use a Terraform backend that can encrypt. Use environment variables, encrypted files or secret stores to securely input secrets in your Terraform code. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.